Right guys, so we have just got the keys to our new house. We have been wanting and dreaming about a house for a long, long time. The one we have, we have grown out of. It was getting very frustrating sharing the same toilet with Sinead, sharing the same kitchen with Sinead. So now we have a house that we can do a lot of work to and come and see us. Come see this, come see this, come see this house, come see this house. <laughs> right, so as you can see, we have a good sized garden. My dad loves gardening, so he's going to do some work in here. But we're going to get a landscaper in to obviously cut down some hedges. Like I said, it's a work in progress. We know what we're wanting, but um, right now it's a fun mess and I cannot wait to get my hands stuck in. So yeah, the garden's nice. I've always loved big gardens when I obviously I've brought up the back of a garden at my dad's house that a lot of people have seen. And I've always loved big gardens, played in big gardens. So to have this kind of size of garden in the garden is cool. So we're going to make the most of having a big garden, definitely. Oh. Oh jeez. So before we go inside, while we're out here, while the weather is nice, we're going to take you to the side of the house. So again, there's a lot of overgrowing trees. There's a lot of trees that are going to get chopped down. Um, this very overgrowing, but we're going to get this. That's why we have landscapers in this world so we can get this garden the way we wanted it. As you can see here, this is going to get re-slabbed. This is probably where my hot and cold stuff's going to go. We've got it at the gym, but I want somewhere where I can just do it at home myself. I don't have to go to the gym. So that's the first kind of part. Obviously, we have all this that's just going to get removed and my dad's probably, hopefully, dad, you can do some sunflowers and we can get some nice plants. We've got raspberry bushes here as well, apple trees. So this house is, I think, about 50 years old and has only been like three owners. The last person that we got this house off has been in it for 20 years. Used to work with Sinead, so she's really looked after the house. Obviously there's overgrowing stuff in that as well, but you know, when you're moving out, you, you just kind of leave it. So we're going to put a modern take on it. And I you know I know a lot about the garden and stuff, and I know we're visualizing what we want. So it's cool to do it all ourselves. But as you can see, this is all just going to probably get removed. And that, this is the back garden, which again, is big. You know, it's, it's very cool. Um, there's another bit of garden here which we might turn into a, a pat and pitch green. I don't know yet, I need to ask you, I need to hopefully get her persuasion, but, and this is a, an outhouse. As you can see, this is probably was stored for garden tools and floors a bit loose, but we're gonna get that sorted. I might turn this into kennels for the dogs. In our old house, we needed to put stair gates in different rooms. And we don't really want to be putting stair gates in this house. So I think, you know, when we're away for a day trip, we can knock this bit down and have a whole big massive kind of kennel for the two dogs to like run around in, you know, keep them nice and sheltered. We might even build something out here that they can, you know, walk around here out and go in and out. So it'd be quite a cool place for the dogs and I think they'd like that. So uh, again, there's a bit, there's the other, there's the apple tree, look. Have our own apple trees in the garden, that's pretty cool. My mum loved having apple trees and used to cook a lot with cooking apples. She used to pick them all the time. So this is taking back a wee bit of memory that we've actually got our own apple trees and raspberries in our garden. So that's a very cool thing to have, obviously, we're going to trim stuff. I don't really know much about trees, apple trees, but probably going to trim it back and maybe keep these because this is very, very cool. Look, we've got raspberries or blackberries, whatever they are. And look at that. Yeah, anyone messes with me, they get this right in their face. So yeah, very, very cool, isn't it? So um, again, I'm not going to go down here, but this is just the side, the other side. Again, this is just a bit overgrown. We're just going to get this thing back and just get all the weeds gone and just make it kind of nice and walkable, nice high fences. We're going to get, take this fence down, get a secure fence here. The entrance is going to get a bigger gate as well. So for obvious reasons, the dogs. So um, we need to make it dog friendly, but it is a, uh, oh look, a buckaroo. I could try and get on that. Actually, you know what? My favorite part of the house. That's actually solid. That didn't break. Wow. Right. Let's go back in the front. Jeez, oh. Wow. So obviously we're staying in our house that we have in Onesh. Um, it's like rented, so we have to give them 20 day notice, but our goal is to be out that wee house completely um, 
by say mid-October, have everything kind of cleared out, which would be good. But yeah, I'm going to miss it, but it's going to be, I like the neighbors there, but this is, oh, any sakes, I'm out of breath. Right, come in. Hello, Sinead. Right, so as you can see the front, this is one of the coolest things, right? What is this called? Brick, Brick wall. So as soon as you walk in, I love this. So this is going to get, obviously, we'll probably do stuff to it, but it's going to stay basically what it looks like right now. Uh, and this is the old picture of what? This is an old picture of Invergarden Pier, how Invergarden used to look like. So that's quite, uh, that's quite cool. It's quite different. Yeah, but let's go. So this is the bedroom, one bedroom. Uh, Holy crap. Yeah. Do you like spiders? No, please don't. Wow. Wow. Oh, you're oh sorry. <laughs> this is our room, as you can see, it's a bit, I think we're gonna be ripping up these carpets, getting it all designed to us, but I think this is gonna be our room. So this is gonna, we've got a bed ordered, so I cannot wait to get that. Through here is our very own, MTV crib style walk-in wardrobe. Two sides, so she's having a small one. I'm having this, this is my bin. So we're gonna get this obviously shelves, get it all kind of painted, decorated, make it look cool. Maybe have my shoes out and some t-shirts and clothes out, which is gonna be sick instead of just having piles of clothes everywhere. Bathroom, this is gonna be getting completely stripped out. I mean, the bath's too small. We're gonna make the shower bigger, get some cool stuff in the shower. Maybe put a bath here with like a kind of half circle one. Right now, what you see is not gonna look like in a few months, hopefully. So the next stage after the kitchen is to probably get this side done. Obviously this is our kind of main part of our, like this is where we're gonna be sleeping and doing the, the jobbies. So we need to get, we need to do the kitchen first, then we're gonna get this done uh, and take it from there and see what happens after that. Oh, yeah, this is our, so this is our house that we're in. This is a new house here that's getting built right now. So this was 50 years ago. There's nothing there. So so it's cool. This is yeah, our wee brother's flat here. So that's quite a cool bit of history to have. We'll probably keep this, maybe even keep it up. But yeah, we're obviously going to get this. So this is all going to get painted. And then this is the living room. Oh, this is big. I love how you can see out the garden and the knees. We've just ordered a big couch. We ordered a couch and added things to it. And it's a big couch, you wait till you see it. It's gonna take up a lot of this living room, but uh, this is more just for family space. We want this to kind of like, you know, in our old house, the, the thing we struggled with most is when more than two people came in, it was small that you couldn't really get any, you know, people in it and it was more kind of, it's frustrating because you couldn't have too many people in, but we're, so this is gonna be like a 10 seater couch and it's gonna be, you know, if we have look up, if we have filming stuff out with our family, no one's gonna feel kind of squashed and everyone's gonna feel at home. So the fans just to get a big couch, Obviously we've got a coal fire here. I think we're gonna get a wood burning stove eventually as well. We're gonna get a TV up there and just have a nice wee chilled out area here. And then again, we have this bit as well. This is cool. This is gonna be where the Christmas dinners are. Yeah. We've only ever hosted like one Christmas dinner. And again, it's hard to host a Christmas dinner when you don't have the biggest of house. And I think it's our turn to do something like that. And so we're just gonna get a big massive oak super strength, super strong table that can carry some big guys and just have a whole family over here. Like I said, a good thing about it is some people can chill down there, some people can chill here. You're not gonna feel squashed. This room in itself is big, you know, for like 10, 15 people just to come in and chill. It's weird to now because it's empty and it doesn't look like anything, but it's gonna be cool. We'll move this light as well because this is very old fashioned and look, it's like I'm wearing a hat. Oh, I thought you wanted to get some this Spotlights. So then, through this way. Right, so again, this is quite cool. Oh, ignore the rugs. Everything's gonna be wooden flooring probably, but like these ceilings are so high. I've never really had houses that the ceilings are so high. There's a uh, storage everywhere in this house as well. Storage at this side. There's storage, oh, storage and, a, and a safe in here. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> yeah, so that's quite cool. Um, we're gonna start all the way up here. The garage doesn't look too big from the outside, but this is the garage. And for a house that's sold, this is impressive. It works perfectly. Oh shit. Sorry. 
Um, TV, welcome to my garage. I think it works perfectly. Yeah, look at that. So that's quite cool that that is still a fully functioning garage. Good thing about this as well is when the garage goes down, it locks by itself. So, you know, it's safe. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to put in here. I mean, there's loads of space. I don't know what you put in the garage, lawnmowers. Um, there's a fire hose. If you, we've got our own fire hose. I mean, that's cool. Like, yeah, if you want a water fight, have a fire hose. So yeah, closer. Right, this is another room, but this is going to be where the magic happens, as they say, not that kind of magic, but office. This is going to build this into a wee office, remove all this. It's probably going to be a blacked out room. This is probably going to be the darkest room of the house. So we can do, you know, if Tom comes up and does photos, we can do photos here, videos here. We've got mulligans, we've got all different people that come up and film and they can actually do interviews here. I mean, there's a lot of space. Once this, we don't need any storage in here. It's probably just going to be, like I said, bare walls, painted black some trophies up here, some maybe, you know, motivational pictures, and then just a computer screen. And it's just like it's a black room with some lightning and lighting and then camera guys can come in here and shoot it. So it's going to be quite cool. So sick that we can actually have our own wee space that we can chill out. So I don't think we need this room as a bedroom anyway, unless Tom, you want to stay? <laughs> I'm very fussy because I don't actually like houses that are, let's say old fashioned, but this just fell in love with me because and then I realised to myself, more, you know, when you go and buy a modern house, someone's already had that design, you can't really do much to it. But now, because this is fully kind of refurb, it's all our ideas. So the kitchen we've designed is all ours. The stuff we're going to be doing in the game room is all ours. The stuff we're going to be doing here is all ours. I feel special that we're able to just to kind of rip everything out and do it all ourselves, which is going to take long. You get kind of information from like Eddie Hall, for example. When I first met, went down to his, his was kind of a bit old and stuff, and he was just ripping it, everything out and doing bits by bits. And I think it's just this year, I think it's three or four years later, he's finally getting it done. So it's, you know, when you have control of your own house as well, you can change it as much as you want. You can make it perfect. And like, we know what rooms have to get done first and the main kind of stuff that people are going to see. So that's what we're going to be doing. But yeah, this is the family bathroom. I mean, geez, also, Sinead's always wanted two sinks. So there's a perfect setup. That, obviously, this is going to be all modernised but there's already two sinks here, so we're going to get obviously a new, all new things kitted out, but the good thing about it, there's two sinks, we don't need to add any, whatever it's called, it's easy, it's already here, we just have to replace it and get it designed better. Nice big mirror, which again is really nice, but we'll probably get something different, a nice light. Um, this bath is actually quite cool. I'm wanting to get, maybe extend that shower, I want to extend the shower out to about here and get that sprinkler shower thing, and then maybe get the bath raised up a wee bit, get a bath kind of like that, but a bit more modern, and we'll keep the toilet like that. Yeah, I quite like this. And this is another bedroom, any six. We've got a uh, storage, another walk-in wardrobe in here. This is gonna be a, I mean, I love it. I think this is blue, is it? Yeah. yeah. For a spare room, it's got, if you walk in, look in there, it's got so much space. I mean, that's most people's, like, what a bedroom want to be like, so it's, I'm, yeah, so that's the size of our toilet at home, or size basically of our bedroom at home. So it's nice. And then, you know, I think we're just going to get a double bed in here. And we're like, we've got loads of nieces and nephews, so we'll probably just let them go eat. We're going to have them sleeping over all the time, so this might be their room, just where they can, you know, have toys. I mean, it's big enough to just have a wee bed and loads of toys and just chuck them everywhere. There's a bit where, like, you know, they can store stuff away in here. So it's quite a good, good size room to kind of have as a spare room as well. So. These rooms at this side of the house are all going to be spare rooms, so it's going to be uh, on booking.com. And then this is, <laughs> the thing is, this is a massive room as well, but we don't want to have this room because it's so far away from the house. Obviously, when we have kids and stuff and you're looking after nieces and nephews, you don't want to be down here and nieces and nephews down at the door and you hear the door going at night going, ew, we're going to escape from Auntie and Uncle. So, but this is an unbelievable room. This is, uh, again, another, walk-in wardrobe um which is every room's got a walk-in wardrobe their own bathroom we're going to probably keep i don't think i can put the light on but we're going to probably keep the bathroom like this this is more we're not going to do much this is a spare room so it's probably just going to stay as it is as i said the shower heads is like what i want the sprinklers so this is probably not going to get much done to it probably obviously paint the roof but i think this is going to stay as it is basically maybe change a few a few things but this is a spare room so we don't want to too much, but yeah, I don't know what we're going to do in here. I mean, you could probably fit two beds in here. 
But I think a good thing about this is you can see straight onto this, and this is a cool part of the house. Um, this is where we're going to take our bench that we got up at my dad's down here. Got another bench, probably got a barbecue, a wood burning stove at night time. It's like enclosed, so you can look at the stars. This is quite cool as well. We'll get this all tidied up. But this is a thing where you can just all chill. The thing I like about it is that if you're on, if you're on doing all different things and you've got people over in different rooms, you can all come out here. Right, guys, as you can see, I have been impatient and started this. I mean, when we first planned the kitchen, this is the first part they said to us is the kitchen needs done ASAP. And obviously, when you're moving house, you need a kitchen to cook. So <laughs> when we came in on Friday, there was a wall here and we thought, crap, because we had designed it like this. There was no wall, nothing. So this is getting all taken out for the kitchen to come in. I think the kitchen's coming on the 18th September. This is going to be like couch where dogs can chill out, where we can chill out. We're in our old house as well. You'll see our old house soon. It's... The kitchen's tiny, so only one of us can go in it and, you know, there's two of us in it, it's just, we're just banging into each other and it's nice that we can actually, you know, if we're cooking breakfast, we'll have a breakfast where we can eat together and relax, which is cool, but this is why I got this house. I mean, look at this. It's anybody's dream to have a full-size snooker table in their house, but this is going to get moved. We were, we asked the guy, people before this to move this, but we're quite lucky they didn't because look at the prestige condition this is, and this is... I think 50 years old. I think this is very rare because this I think was gifted by the king. I don't really know much about it, but it says sitting about uh, to Her Majesty the Queen of Wales. This is fecking. Right, I don't want to move this, but the plan for this room is obviously there's a man dead game room. We're going to get, we've got a pool table lined up that we're going to get. We're going to get a pool table. Then we're gonna get a bar. Like we don't really like going out drinking now, but you know, some things you want when your friends come over, you can then have, or let's have one or two, and we're gonna have a big projector built into the roof, so like fight nights and stuff. We've already got a couch order, which is like a heated massage couch. So we'll get some older, like the Patman machines. Those are quite historic things to have in house. So every, all our family's seen it, except from Luke and our business manager, Ewan. So I'm gonna get them to come up and uh, get a tour of the house. Security. How did you get up past my gates? Do you yeah. know? That lavender, is it? Yeah, that's lavender, yeah. Lovely. I love that. So is this the driveway? No. Oh, look at this one. This is Hollywood. Class, isn't it? Jeez. It's class. Side, let's go to the side. This is where the hot and cold's gonna go. Once it's re -slabbed. If the business permits it. I think we're going to build kennels for the dogs in there. It's fucking hell. Hey, ka -ching, ka -ching, that's my ka -ching, fruit. Hey guys, please. This is where the chip in. merchandise, guys, please. Right, come inside. Seven hours. Where are they going? This is one of the rooms. What's this one gonna be? Power hour one. Well, that's Spider Man. Leave it. No, he's, he hates it. I tried to touch it, but Tom hates it. But yeah, the couch goes from here to there. It's like a 10 seater. So. 10 seater? I, I didn't realise it was that big, but it's. <laughs> you said you just extended it. Yeah, but I didn't realise it was that big. It's a nice, nice, nice big couch for when we have friends up. It's not a 10 seater, it's like an 8, I'm joking. Jeez. No, you're not joking. Just said when we came in. So this way. I've just extended the couch so it goes about here. So it's about 20 metres long, man. It's all couch. You don't have any room for anything else. We do have. Don't you worry. No, no, no. Don't put it on. Because it's the fire engine will get cold. No. How would it? Because it's connected to the fire brigade. What? It's they said it's connected to the fire brigade. Yeah, no, no. Put it on and see. No. What is he? This is for the car wash. You know, if you want a car wash, it's foam. Put it on. I don't think it works. Oh. Okay, it works, so that's enough. Oh. That's gonna waste the water. This is where the office is gonna be. To remove everything, trophy cabinet, black it all out, rain fridge. This is the bath. Yeah. It's a big bath. Have you tried to see if you can fit the bath, Tom? Yeah. Tom. Oh no, not yet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, this is a family bath, so it should fit five or six people. I think it's coming off the wall. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. Oh, jeez. This is what we wanted rid of. It doesn't look so bad. What? It looks all right. No, it does not. It does. There's a lot of that. 26 points. They're not seeing you know they're an old fashioned 50 year old. So. <laughs> it's like, even for me, like. Like, to see Tom, she need to get like, the house of their dreams kind of thing. Um, or what will be, you know, let's see it's work in progress, but it's amazing. It's, um, so much potential, which is so cool. And, and for Tom to have the place where he's on, it's like, well, eventually, I think Tom will show you the, the place where they stayed before. Um, yeah. It's so cool. Really nice. That's in front. Just need to work a little bit harder. So, oh, you should be no more holidays for a while, so. Right guys, so that was episode one of our new house. It was very exciting to be able to actually have our own house and to show you guys around. Stay tuned for, for episode two where you're going to see big transformations. You're going to see where our old house was. I'm going to go sleep because I'm very tired. Having a house is stressful. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay spicy. Ding, 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 ding.